The Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters. Another perfect day in Paradise Falls. I want to ask you a question. Not if it's about B. It's about Mom. I don't want to talk about her either. Francis says you were having sex with her. <laughs> Is that what she said? Just answer me this. Is it true? Of course it's not true. She's crazy. Why would you believe her? Because yes, she's crazy, but she's not a liar. I suppose I am. All this time I thought Mom left town because of me, because she was depressed. Your mother was born depressed. Because you were f***ing her. Oh my. Roman wine check. Oh, great. That's all I need. I know you gave her $5,000 to leave town. I gave Sarah some money, it's true. So she wouldn't ruin your wedding. Do you even see what you did? Not only did you have sex with your own son's wife, you got her killed. She wouldn't have gone without you pushing her out. Uh, just grow up. I am not responsible for what happened to Sarah. If I gave her any money, it was because of you. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. You call me a freak? You call B a freak? Take a look in the mirror. Nick! Wow. I never realized that witches were so spiritual. It is a religion. Wicca's been around since before Christianity. Oh, I'm going to get Clive to put that in the movie somewhere. Yeah, maybe between the animal sacrifice and the circle of death. Uh-huh. I was going to ask you about that. What is this circle of death? I mean, it's not a Wiccan ritual. Well, you see, Clive says we can't let reality dictate the plot. So instead, what I need from you is to make my witch character fully two-dimensional. Oh, like that character you played in Naked Terror. Exactly. You see, J.J. was both a stripper and a cop. Two dimensions. Okay, um, what kind of magic do you do? Well, all kinds. Healing magic, love magic. Forget about that. Well, last month, Pamela did this love spell on me. Completely cacked out. What happened? Oh, I'm supposed to meet this person with a true mind. So far, I've been as a married loser and a loser warlock. Oh, well, the spell only works if you have an open mind. I have an open mind. It doesn't work. Great script, though. Thanks. I'm taking a walk. Hello, is this Roman Wojciech? Oh, um, I have your suitcase. I must have picked it up by mistake. If you give me your address, I can send it out to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not far from me. Rose Bernini. Well, oh, thank you. Roman is a nice name, too. Okay, anyway, I'll send it out to you. All righty, bye-bye. You told Nick about Sarah and me, didn't you? Huh? Let go of me! Now look, what went on between Sarah and me is none of your business. You know what's funny? She actually liked you. You didn't know that, did you? But she did, and she was hurt when you paid her off. Uh, she took the money. She had no choice. Why haven't you done us all a big favor and just killed yourself, huh? Because Roxy needs me. 
Yeah, well, I know what I'm going to do. And I warned you. Yeah, well, I warned Sarah. I told her not to listen to a word you said, and I was so right. You poisoned me to Nick. I just told him the truth. Well, you are not going to win this fight, Francis. I know that. So what are you going to do? Are you going to cut me off? You already did that? You're going to kill me? I'm not going to kill you, Francis. I'm going to make you suffer. Oh, big f***ing deal. I'm already doing that right here, right now. So look at me. Are you enjoying yourself? say to you I told you that woman was not to be trusted it wasn't just Shirley's idea it was yours too I wouldn't cheat you I'm surprised you'd even say that I wasn't going to keep the money I was going to give you your fair share it was supposed to be a surprise for when you got back how do you stand there and just do that how do you lie to me like that I'm not lying I know you don't believe this but I was trying to help you Look at yourself. If anyone walked in right now, they wouldn't know I'm the older sister. Rose, you're dying inside. That's an awful thing to say. When was the last time you did something adventurous? I went to Milan. You went to the airport and then you came right back. And it's a good thing I did because you were trying to sell my store. Do you have any idea how long it's taken me to make this store what it is? And what is it, Rose? It's Paradise Falls Premier Boutique. Let me move back into the house. I'll make it up to you. I can't forgive you. I see my aunt. She's at the station. Actually, I'd like to talk to you. Can I come in? Oh. I'd like to talk to you about the other day. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have bugged you. The truth is... I am your father. Why are you telling me this now? Because you deserve to know. I would have told you years ago, but I didn't out of respect for your mother. <laughs> All those years growing up in that fancy house, watching me grow up in that shitty trailer. Was that out of respect for my mom too? I deserve that. You deserve a lot worse. Well, I'd like to try to explain it to you. Can I buy you a coffee? Bernini Boutique. This is she. Oh, oh, Roman, no, I'm sorry. I haven't sent it out yet. Tomorrow? Um, sure. Why not? How about Sharky's at two? Right, okay, I'll see it. Oh, wait, how will I know that it's you? Red tie. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. I hear you're hard at work writing a movie. It's the idea. And how's Simon? Do you care? Only if he's dead. Jess, I'm worried about you. <laughs> that's so nice of you. I mean, I don't believe you, but still, that's so nice of you to say. You shouldn't be living with Grandpa. He cares about me. He only cares about himself. Well, he's a lot like you. 
If you must know, Pete and I are lovers and we're gonna get married. Well, I wouldn't count on that. You don't even want me. You just don't want anyone else to have me either. You're so selfish. Listen to me, Jessica. He was screwing my mother, his own daughter-in-law. Is that the man you want to spend the rest of your life with? I don't believe you. Well, I just thought I'd warn you. Mrs. Braga. She said she wouldn't tell me. It is. Did you love her? Probably not. At least you're honest. Roxy, I want us to have a relationship. Now? You could have come by at any time. I did everything I could. I paid child support to your mother for your whole life. Well, good for you. Can you imagine what it's like living all those years not knowing who your father was? And then finding out he was right there the whole time ignoring you? Can you imagine what it's like seeing your daughter all those years and not being able to tell her how much you love her? Don't say love. You haven't earned that yet. Let me earn it. And I want it for free. Uh, are you running away from home? Rose kicked me out and it's your fault. You told her I was plotting against her. You were. I was doing nothing of the sort. I was trying to help her out. And now that you've stuck your fat nose into my life, you can find me a new place for free. I don't have anything available at the moment. Bullshit. All our properties are committed. Unless um, you'd like to stay here. Isn't that convenient? Not just till something comes available. Separate rooms, of course. <sighs> Keep your hands to yourself or else. Trust me, Stanley. In this town, I outrank any admiral. What are you looking at? N nothing. Want to talk? Sure. Nice. Yeah. One of the few good things we get around here. <laughs> so what's your name? Trudy. Trish. You from around here? Because <laughs> you don't look like you're from around here. How do you know that? You don't look bored out of your mind. Oh, I'm from L.A. My parents are here shooting a movie. Rusty Sinclair's your mom? Oh, please. <laughs> Cover me. <laughs> I've heard them all, trust me. <laughs> you have a boyfriend? Nah. Well, I think I'm off guys for a little bit. Yeah. Me too. Well, I'm sort of seeing this local guy named Michael. Mansfield? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not serious. I mean, you know, he's sort of a bargaining chip with my parents. I won't see him if you buy me a new jag. So, a jag for Michael? Yeah, well, I'll have to give him the occasional hand job to keep him happy, but. A hand job for a jag? I do it for a decent burger. So would I. <laughs> this is good shit. 
Why is there a lock on one of the doors upstairs? Well, that was George's old office. I don't remember it being there. Well, my brother was a stickler for privacy. I'm uh, going to take your bag up to my room. Hold it. We said separate rooms. Why are Canadians such prudes? We're not prudes. We have taste. The guest room is fine. Then you can uh, take it up yourself. Such a gentleman. So, Stanley, why do they call you the Admiral? Hmm. A friend of mine had a boat moored at Clacton, not too far from Colchester. I was the one who navigated, so I became the Admiral. You've practiced that. <laughs> it's good, though. Almost believable. Do you like boating? I got a nice boat. I can take you for a ride. Mr. Braga. If you could manage Dad, that'd be nice. I don't think so. Too soon. How about Pete? Okay, Pete. I can't tell you my whole life for one coffee. And it's getting late. I got an idea. Let's try to spend some time together. I've got a huge house. You could stay with me. You know, for a couple of days. Got to be better than your aunt's couch. And we could get to know each other better. No pressure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. Are you ready for your close-up, Stanley? Um... You should uh, put that back. It belongs to Michael. <laughs> Look, I, I, I don't like to be photographed. Really? You have such a nice profile. Really? I don't think I take a, a good picture. Well, I just found this camera. Thought we could have some fun. <sighs> I don't think so. What are you hiding, Stanley? <sighs> I'm not hiding anything. Look, I'd better put the camera back in Michael's room. No, it's okay. I'll take care of it. So I ran off with this guy named Ravenheart. Ravenheart? <laughs> what is that? Some sort of Canadian name? Oh, yeah. We Canadians, we are really big on those names. Like, my cousin was named Beaver Kale. <laughs> You're shitting me. <laughs> yes, of course I'm shitting you. <laughs> you Americans are so gullible. No, we're not. You are. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think it's cute. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ravenheart. He was very cute. But he's a shit. Yeah, well, he's a guy. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> So, before Raven and Prick, there was this married guy, boring Billy. And then there was Michael. My Michael? Everybody's Michael. Just be careful if he comes after you with a camera. Oh, I hate that. Every guy in LA has a camera. No, it's because they have two picture deals and another one in turnaround. What does that mean? Nothing. It means dick. <laughs> yeah, well, all dicks are nothing. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> Jess, this is Roxy Hunter. This is Jessica Lansing. We've met before, hi. I didn't know you were still in town. I thought you were supposed to marry Nick. I was, yes, but now Pete and I- Jess, Roxy's my daughter. We just spent the day catching up. Your daughter? You didn't tell me you had a daughter. Well, I do, and she's standing right here. Isn't she beautiful? Jessica's staying with me while she uh, gets her life settled. Roxy's gonna be living here too, for a couple of days, maybe longer. Well then, welcome to our home. <laughs> Do you like makeup? 
Yeah, I guess. Good. Then we'll be best friends, I'm sure. bugs me. Hmm. My witch friend, she told me, actually she promised me that I'd meet someone of a true mind within a month. Well, how long ago did she cast this spell? Three weeks or so. Well, it's not a month yet. You still have time. I'm not holding my breath. <sighs> hey, listen. When my parents are finished shooting this movie, you should come to L.A. with us. Really? <laughs> and you're going to pay for my flight, right? Sure. You know, I have a true mind. Yes. Very true. Trudy. <laughs> 